what's up everyone? About to depart San Diego, heading to Vegas for the weekend. It's Friday, October 29th. This Sunday is Halloween, and I'm gonna be in Vegas throughout the weekend. Coming back Monday morning early. Pretty short little drive. It's only about five, six miles from my place to the airport. Takes a little bit, maybe 15, 20 minutes to get there. A lot of stop signs and shit, but too bad. Short little trip, so let's head down there and get this show on the road. Or in the air, as it were. We made our way through the security check in record time. There was maybe a half dozen people in line in front of me. Can't beat that. Taking a look at some of the dining and drinking options they got for you here at the gates. I have to start boarding. Heading onto that yellow plane right there. Spirit Airlines, flying in style. Just like that, arriving in Nevada. It's only about a 45 minute total flight time. I always thought it was kind of hilarious how they just immediately put slot machines in your face. You don't even have to leave the airport. Heading out front, buddy Greg coming to meet me. Don't even have to pay for an Uber, I love it. Asshole, sir. Oh, you locked me out. Preferably gas powered or compressed gas. I can't really throw this one anymore. Alright, time to check in. The Silver Sevens. Just a couple blocks east of the strip. It's a hell of a deal. Let's get some ridiculous food deals over here. Plus it's nice as you can park like right next to your room. And another thing we love about this hotel in particular is that it is right across the street from one of our favorite steakhouses in all Vegas. Good old Morton's. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, like I said, right across the street. Class, class, class. Alright, time to stuff ourselves like some kings. See you on the other side. I'm ready for bang bang. Oh yes. Give me an hour to smoke. Oh Tony, let me give an accent on Hit it one more time. Yeah. Time to hit the strip. Trying to decide which sports book to go to. Probably Caesars. Very full. Amazing. Oh, come on, Satan. Look at this majesty. These places are just wonderful during football season, college Saturdays, NFL Sundays. Sort of like a greenhouse. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, it is. Yeah, the Mirage always impresses. It's still a nice one. I love, I love smelling water. <laughs> Worked our way over to Caesars. Freaking love the lobby in here. This place is just really amazing. And these might be the coolest escalators ever to exist. What's this thing do? Gucci. This is how you do things. Doesn't seem to be helping much. 
can always just enjoy the ambiance in here. It doesn't cost you a dime. I freaking love these things. Oh, it's the same. Every single one is the same, except it's slightly over a little bit. Yeah, you want to get you want to get charged for that? That's expensive. No, not particularly. Whew, this place. <laughs> How inappropriate. Come in with us. This is all still just inside Caesar's Palace. They really, this place was built, I think, in like the late 80s or early 90s. Still just one of the most amazing hotels. Definitely on the strip, maybe in the world. I don't know. I haven't been to that many other countries. Grigori. Grigori. Grigori, can I call you this from now on? Nowadays. Probably not. Oh, hello, this is Boris. This is the first time I'm on a camera without mask. This is it. We are I know. here. Rule breaking we go down right spiral. now. Somehow we keep turning, but not moving. We turn turn way is. too much here. It's mechanical. <laughs> How far are we from here? I don't know exactly. This thing is so cool. I've done this in the past. The high roller Ferris wheel right on the strip. It's like in the 30 to like $50 range, but if you pay extra, you get to go on one that has its own private bar, open bar, that. Plus it's 21 and up, so you don't have to deal with any kids on there. That's definitely the way to do it. Done it a couple times. I'm not going to be doing it tonight, but definitely a cool thing I'd recommend. High Roller here at The Link. All right, the final stop of the evening. Some late night grub. White Castle. Oh, no shit. Yeah, they even got a drive through 24 hours. 24 hours to eat some burgers. 24 minutes. Head back to the Silver Sevens. Enjoy some grub and wind down for the evening. See what we got on the agenda for tomorrow. All right, day two in Vegas. Today's going to be a special one. We're over here at the Rio, west of the Strip. Checking out the World Series of Poker today. Alright, let's head on in. Rio's a pretty interesting one. It's got this Mardi Gras theme they go with. So they have Kiss themed mini golf. Ever wanted to mini golf to the tune of Kiss? This would be the place. We are not here for mini golf today. We are here for some poker. Heading over to the convention center. Oh, oh yeah, hats and shirts and stuff, fannies, official World Series of Poker munchies, oh cool, look at all the apparel, 25 bucks, not too cray. <laughs> that is a lot of poker tables. God damn. Today they're doing the Colossus Tournament. This has some 10,000 entrants spread out over three or four of these huge rooms. It's crazy how you can just hear the constant sound of chips being like stacked and fiddled with. It never ends. It's like a continuous loop. Background noise. Track down the table our friend Svet is playing at. Long day one for him. Oh, boy. All right. Got to see old Svet throw down a few hands. Greg and I are both invested in him. <laughs> Slight stake action going on, so. We got some little bit invested into the dub sop, but we're gonna have to let Svet handle it on his own. Ah, the Amazon room. You ever seen the World Series of Poker on ESPN? This is the room it takes place in. I've always wanted to see it. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're talking some real production. That's cool. Definitely seen this on TV a lot of times. The little cheering sections in the back. Your drunken friends and family can <laughs> shout for you. I love the lighting scheme in here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a cool place. One in the only WSOP, or as we call it, the Dub Sound. Yeah, she's pretty good. I'm done. Oh, nice. Bulldog sighting. Hey, buddy. Good old Zoltar. So this works. Get in there. Don't let me down. Love the movie Big. <laughs> kind of sounds like when Svet overdoes his Russian voice. <laughs> Oddly similar. <laughs> True to character. Do I really have to give him more cash? I see you over there. Yes, you. Oh, well. Just now I know to be a man of character. Watching as the ball. Oh, wow. Back here at the Silver Sevens, enjoying some of their game day specials, including 77 cent beers. And definitely took advantage of their hot dog special as well. Love me a good hot dog. All right, back to the Rio, where our friend is still alive in the tournament, and I believe has made the money even. Looks like we might get a World Series of Poker Payday. When the feature table is now active, looks like we got some pros in there. Cool seeing this stuff in person, finally. I've been watching this on ESPN a pretty long time. This overhead shot there, where they show you the cards and the chips and play. Pretty cool though, a lot of money here. So these people have so much money invested into it. Emotions run really high. Uh, there's some familiar pros over here. That man in the purple is Mike the Mouth Matisau. Yeah, so that's a 10K, it's uh, the final. Oh, Definitely nice. seen him on TV a time or two. $10,000 buy-in for that table. All right, about to depart from the Rio, but definitely a fruitful time. Greg and I both bet on every single NFL game today, and both of us made some money. My betting system pays off again, and we even made some money staking Svet in the World Series of Poker. My man cashed. Played for 14 hours on day one. Good God, that's a lot of work. One day I hope to find myself sitting at that table in the World Series, but eh, just yet. For now, I'm kind of cool on the sidelines. So I'm about to wrap it up from Vegas. Oh, man. Oh no, it is 4.30 in the morning, and this line is already this freaking bad. Good God, good God. Apparently an email went out, I'm overhearing, that said to arrive at least three hours early today. I did not get that email. Oh man. Barely made it through the eternal TSA line. Everybody in line was just talking about how that's the worst line they've ever seen at this airport. So note to self, or to anyone, don't fly out early Monday morning from Vegas. Good God, especially not the day after a holiday. That was brutal. Made it toward my gate with about maybe 10, 15 minutes to spare. So cutting it way tighter than I would have liked. Now, approaching my gate. Looks like we are going to make it. Just barely, though. Ah, damn. There's a lot of people in line right now who are 
definitely not going to make their flights. Some chaos here. Even the employees were looking like they were having a rough one. All right, about to jump in and get on this plane. I usually like to be one of the last ones to board. There's no sense in getting in there 45 minutes before the flight. sunrise here I think. I don't usually get a window seat, so I'm gonna enjoy it. That is definitely beautiful. Nice little payoff after that horribly long wait at the airport. Look at the Coronado Bay Bridge there in the background. Getting into downtown San Diego. Always a beautiful scene here. Coming in for a landing. Lucky to have the window seat here and enjoy it. Anyways, thanks for coming along with me on my Vegas trip. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, possibly even subscribe. I've always got more videos coming out. I've got a few more I'm working on right now. For the time being, I am gonna go home and me a good proper nap, catch up on some sleep. I am exhausted. Vegas always, always takes it out of you. Thanks for watching.